From an ancient lost city to a mastodon skeleton, here are nine amazing historical discoveries that were found by accident. The next discovery could be yours. Number 9. Marianne Hall's Brothel Weren't expecting this to start off a historical discoveries list, were you? Well, to be fair, this brothel was found by accident, and more importantly than that, it actually has an important historical significance. So how was it discovered? In 1997, the Smithsonian decided to do a study on some land in Washington, D.C. that was going to be used to build the National Museum of the American Indian. However, as they started to dig around, they found artifacts that had been buried for more than a century. This made them wonder what used to be there. The area itself was a middle-class neighborhood, yet they were finding items that seemingly belonged to wealthy people. What was going on? Desperate for answers, because you know how scientists can get, they consulted old maps and official records and found that the land was once home to a brothel. A brothel from the 19th century. Even more fascinating was that it was owned by Mary Ann Hall, who built the four-story brick house in her early 20s and had it nicely furnished to be able to serve officers and other men's needs, if you know what I mean. Adding to the fun of this was that this brothel was in very close proximity to Capitol Hill and was documented to have had some very elite clientele. Sadly, the black book of names and clients has not been found or has been destroyed. So as you can see, sometimes the most odd and unusual discoveries can be ones that shed light on history. Number 8. Terracotta Army in 1974, not long after the Chinese New Year, farmer Yang Zifa, his five brothers, and a friend who all worked together decided to dig a well to water the crops of their cooperative farm. After a couple of days of digging, the seven farmers hit what they thought was an old kiln. Turns out they had shoveled off a head of one of the soldiers. They kept digging and found some bronze items. As they uncovered the figure of the soldier and more, Yang, who had been in the military, realized the importance of their find and reported it to a museum. Archaeologists came and as they continued to excavate, they found more and more of these statues. It was discovered that they had found the tomb of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang. Each soldier has a lot of interesting little details that went into them. Every member of the terracotta army had its own unique face. Imagine how long it would take to do such a thing. They were all painted with bright, expensive colors, even though you can't see much of it today. And it wasn't the only thing they made. There were also terracotta horses and chariots with enormous amounts of detail. This was widely regarded as one of the greatest archaeological finds in all of China. I'm sad to say that the farmers who found them are rarely credited with the discovery and live in poverty. Their farmland was taken away and their homes were demolished. Yang later said that he believed the soldiers should have been left alone. And now for number 7, but first, do you know what is considered the greatest manuscript discovery of all time? Let us know in the comments! The answer is coming up! And be sure to subscribe if you are new here! If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back! Number 7. Herculaneum Almost everyone knows the story of Pompeii, where the volcano known as Mount Vesuvius erupted in such a violent way that it destroyed the entire city, creating both a legend and a horror story all at once. Yet that volcano also killed another city, one that wasn't rediscovered for many centuries, Herculaneum. Why wasn't it mentioned in the legend? Well, it was 12 hours after the fall of Pompeii that this happened. What's more, because it was upwind of the volcano, the effects of the eruption not just wiped it out, but actually preserved it perfectly. Some say that Herculaneum is actually in better shape than Pompeii. Fast forward to the 18th century and a farmer was doing work on his own land, but little did he know that he was above an ancient city. He was out digging, minding his own business, and found some marble in the ground that he couldn't explain. The land itself shouldn't have had any. It was later realized that he had dug up part of the Roman theater that was in the forgotten Roman city of Herculaneum. King Charles of Bourbon made a more official expedition to rediscover the city, one that continued in the 20th century. The digs have been very fruitful, and we now know there is more to the legend of Pompeii than was previously told. Number 6. The Venus de Milo Speaking of buried objects, let's head to the Greek island of Melos, where a couple of men were digging for antiques on an ancient ruin on the island. One of them, named Yorgos Kentrotas, was looking for marble for building blocks. As he continued to dig, though, he discovered a part of a statue that is now known as the Venus de Milo. Nearby, a Navy officer of all things named Olivier Vautier saw this, and he convinced Kentrotas to help him dig it up in full. 
After realizing its beauty, Voutier went to the French ambassador of the Ottoman Empire and sold it to him. This statue was then given as a gift to King Louis XVIII, who then gave it to the Louvre. This piece is considered one of the greatest works of ancient Greek sculptures and was made by Alexandros of Antioch. It's believed to be a sculpture of the Greek goddess Aphrodite, who is the goddess of love and fertility. To this day, though, people don't know what the true form of the statue is, and it is not quite clear what the entire statue looked like. What was she doing with her arms? Number 5. Edinburgh Vaults In 1788, under the South Bridge in Edinburgh, Scotland, a series of vaults were made. The South Bridge was known for its businesses, and under the bridge were the workshops for those businesses. However, under that were living quarters, if you could even call them that. Basically, it was a caste system under a bridge. The lower you were, the lower you were in society's eyes. Despite the terrible living conditions, the Edinburgh vaults actually thrived at one time. They were home to criminal enterprises, gambling, and even brothels. Yet the vaults were also used to dispose of bodies after murders. After all, who would look for them in there? Eventually, though, the people did get tired of the place and they were abandoned. The vaults were officially closed in 1875, probably because they were a health hazard, and they were forgotten to time. That is, until a rugby player in the 1980s wanted to help smuggle his defecting friend escape the police and get to the UK. He found a tunnel underneath his bar that actually led to the Edinburgh vaults, which they used to get the man out. After being rediscovered, they were explored, restored, and opened up as a tourist attraction. Number 4. Daring Kuyu Underground City From underground tunnels to a literal underground city, Turkey is known for having many of these. This happened specifically in the Cappadocia region of the country, and these cities were hand-carved from the volcanic ash that lies within. One of the biggest and most famous of them all, though, is the Daring Kuyu Underground City. This place is 18 stories tall and was so well crafted that it could have housed around 20,000 people. It was huge, and the air filtration and engineering was incredible. Fraggle Rock, anyone? Now, as for how it was found, it was truly an accident. A man in Turkey was trying to renovate his home in 1963. As he knocked down a wall to his house, he found himself looking at a secret tunnel, one that led to the city of Derin Kuyu. What? One of the biggest mysteries of this city is that it's unclear who made the city and when it was inhabited. Whoever lived there had a thriving society, and there were shops, stables, meeting halls, you name it. Number 3. Mastodon Skeleton The beautiful thing about archaeological discoveries is that you never know where you might find one. This mastodon skeleton was found in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where a group of construction workers came across this big guy. How does that happen? As part of a housing development construction job, they were doing some digging to prepare for a road. As they dug, they came across some bones that they couldn't identify. So they took the bones to the University of Michigan to have them examined. And a few days later, they found out they were the proud discoverers of a 10,000-year-old mastodon. The bones they had found were part of its skull, including part of its jaw. Needless to say, the workers were shocked at the news, and it was an exciting find for scientists. Number 2. Lascaux Caves You never know what you might find in a cave, but when a group of teenagers were playing around in 1940, they accidentally came across one of the greatest historical discoveries in history, the cave paintings of Lascaux. The kids were out and about roaming through the forest near Montignac. Suddenly, one of their dogs got a scent of something, and the teens followed it until they found the entrance to a cave. One of the teens went in, the brave one, and to his surprise, he found himself looking at thousands of cave paintings. Most of them are of large animals that lived in the area during the Paleolithic era. They decided to keep this secret to themselves for a while so they could explore it, but eventually they told their school teacher who informed an expert about it, and the cave was later verified as very real and very authentic. Eventually, it became a popular public attraction and was even labeled the Sistine Chapel of Prehistoric Art. Number 1. The Dead Sea Scrolls As the story goes, in 1947, a Bedouin shepherd went into some caves to look for a stray sheep. Since it was so dark, he threw a rock inside and was surprised to hear the sound of clay shattering. He had found the jars containing the Dead Sea Scrolls. He and his fellow shepherds took the scrolls to an antiquities dealer, and word started to spread that some ancient documents of some importance had been found. The ancient papyrus contained biblical text over 1,000 years older than any existing biblical text. Similar finds were made in nearby caves over the next 10 years. 
there are some 800 documents with tens of thousands of fragments that were written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. And for those of you that guessed, the Dead Sea Scrolls have been shown all over the world and are considered the greatest manuscript find in history and one of the greatest archaeological finds of the 20th century. The shepherds sold the manuscripts for around $50. Now, a tiny scrap of the Dead Sea Scrolls is valued at millions and the larger scrolls are priceless. So why are these scrolls so important? They are invaluable to our understanding of the history of Judaism, the development of the Hebrew Bible, and the beginnings of Christianity. Many of the scrolls give insight into what the Bible was like 2,000 years ago. The Old Testament or Hebrew Bible is the canon of sacred scriptures of Jews and Christians alike, and it is also highly respected by Muslims. Thanks for watching! Maybe you might make the next discovery! Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!